yes. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Warrior for freedom prayer this morning, Lord. I pray for all the men out here on this road this morning, Father. I start off this day by giving you the glory, the honor, and the praise. And Father, when it's cold on side, we know it's warm in your presence. And Holy Spirit, I just worship you today. I just lift you up today. I come to you, Father, through the blood of your Jesus, of your Son, Jesus Christ. And God, I thank you for victory today, this morning. From my heart, oh Father, it's my wife and the wives of my friends and the wives of all the addicts, oh Father, that we are fighting to overcome. And Father, in the name of Jesus right now, we take authority over every device. We take authority over every strategy of the evil one. We take authority over every legal right that the enemy has, oh God, to rise up in a man's life. And we pray, oh God, for the women that are suffering from PTSD, oh God, of the addictions, oh Father, and the wounds that we as men have caused on our family. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I speak today that there's victory as I walk down this, as I drive down this road, oh Father. I speak today that that every strategy, oh God, the device of the enemy within the environment, oh Father, over West Palm Beach, over Florida, oh Father, is broken. In the name of Jesus, I take authority. I come against the culture of darkness that exists. I come against the sexual culture, oh Father, that is inundating men, oh Father, today, and destroying lives and families and wives. Twisted and perversion, oh God, oh Father, that I've been involved with all of my life, though I walk in the church, Father. The denial, oh Father, within the leadership, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that our blind eyes will be open. I stand today, oh God, and I intercede, oh Father. I stand, oh God, as one in the gap, repenting for our sins as a culture, repenting for our sins as the church, repenting, oh God, for the ways, oh Father, our detestable behavior. But Father, in the name of Jesus, your grace and your mercy is sufficient. Your ways are past finding out. And so, Father, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit invade, oh Father, this culture and this environment. The prince and the power of the air is the defeated because we have canceled every agreement, every trade, every legal right that we have allowed the enemy, oh God, to pervade, oh Father, within our environment, within our workplace, oh Father. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I ask that your glory will shine. I ask that your love will penetrate, oh God, hearts that are broken, hearts that are wounded, women that are hurting, kids, oh God, and girls that are being abused, sexual abuse, oh Father, human trafficking. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, oh God, as we unite with you, oh Father, that you would release me Millions and billions of angels forth right now fighting on our behalf, oh God. We realize we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and dominions and the very rulers, oh God. Spiritual wickedness in high places, Father. I pray for our leaders today. I stand and I repent, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We walk in the counsel, oh God, of the wise in the counsel of God, oh God. You, God, we don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly and of the wicked, but today we thank you because of the blood, because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We overcome by that in the word of our testimony. So, Father, I testify that you are good. I testify that you're a good, good Father. I testify that you love us, you care about us, oh Father. You have adopted us into your kingdom through your blood, oh God, that was shed on Calvary. And when you died, you said it is finished, oh Father. So we exact the verdict today, oh Father. As officers of the courts of the kingdom of heaven, Father, we decree and declare today that in Florida, in West Palm Beach, and in America, oh Father, the spirit and the anointing of the Lord is moving. Revival, oh God and renewal, oh God, is here today. We visualize it. We see it. It is clear. We have a clear mental picture of a preferable future of the glory and the anointing of the Lord. Oh God, falling upon the young and the old, upon the blind, oh God, and those that believe that they can see, upon the deceived, oh God, and the deceptive, those in bondage, oh Father, those people that sit in darkness, today they see a great light. They see the light of your love, oh God. Oh Father, affecting the community, affecting their, their impacting the nation, oh God, impacting Oh Father, the leadership. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the legislative councils. I pray, oh Father, for the city councils. I pray, oh God, at the state level. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, congressional level, senate levels today, oh Father. I decree and declare that every law that the enemy tries to push through, oh God, oh God, to legalize, oh God, destructive forces and things, oh God, that is unleashed upon the society, unleashed upon the black man, the white man, the Chinese man, the Indian man. I pray that all of the generational curses of hell is broken over every black person, oh Father, of African descent, Father, in the name of Jesus today, oh Father, I decree and declare in the spirit realm that the glory of the Lord is shining the day of the Lord is at hand, 
and your mercy and your grace, oh Father, is sufficient today. I speak today that my wife is blessed. I speak today that my daughter is blessed. I speak today that wives and sisters and mothers, oh God, go free today. Those in prostitution, those in strip clubs. Those, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, that are online, oh God, doing detestable things. In the name of Jesus, I pray that your love and mercy will go out towards them, oh God. You're looking for someone that sees restoration, oh God, and rather than judgment, oh Father, that sees love, oh God, as opposed to hate, oh Father, that sees unity as opposed to division, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the anointing and the power of God will invade, oh God, our tangible realm. We look into the invisible realm because we know it's more real, oh God, than the visible realm. And we decree and declare today that the spirit and the anointing of God is moving, transforming, changing, renewing, restoring in the name of Jesus right now, God. I thank you for what you're going to do. I thank you for what you're doing, oh God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, oh Father. I confess my sins, oh God. And you said in your word, if I confess my sins, you're faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness, oh Father. I pray for miracles for those that are sick, those that are lost, oh God. I pray for salvation true conversion oh father I pray oh God that the religious and the legal spirit oh God within our environment will be broken oh God because of the grace and the love of Jesus Christ oh father you led captivity captive oh God and you gave oh God took the keys of death hell and the grave oh father and today I have a hope I have a living hope that is in Jesus Christ so I thank you for what you're doing today I thank you for moving oh God in the live addicts today I thank you oh God for deliverance and those that you're setting free thank you for the miracles of healing oh father I thank you for the wounds oh God that are being oh God touched by the bomb of Gilead oh father I thank you for the anointing that breaks the yoke I thank you for those from the bondage of the boss, the spirit of father, oh God, of degradation of the age and the destruction of our family, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I worship you, I glorify you, I magnify you, oh God. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, oh Father. This is the day the Lord has made. I am rejoicing, I am glad in it, I'm incited, I'm enthusiastic, I'm fired up, I'm ready to go, oh God. Victory is ours, warriors of freedom today. And I pray over your lives, oh God, that you would walk in purity, that you would walk in integrity and honesty, oh Father. Lord, Help me, oh God, and help my unbelief. Help me when I doubt. Help me when I'm fearful. Help me when I'm lonely, oh God. Help me, oh God, to have accountability in my life, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you right now. Oh Father, I ask, oh Father, as men get up today and go and work for their families, that they will just not work, oh God, for money, oh God, but that they will do the works, the good works of the Lord, oh Father. That there will be a light shining in the darkness, oh Father. I thank you right now, oh Father, and I glorify you, oh God, for victory. Victory is ours, oh Father. Glory to your name, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Holy Spirit, I exalt you. Holy Spirit, I worship you. Holy Spirit, I ask you to move and to invade me, oh Father. I thank you for your sweet presence. I thank you for your healing. I thank you for your healing. Heal my life, heal my life oh God. All the this, oh God. All the times I've disappointed, oh God. All the expectations of the frustrations, oh God. And man, oh Father, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you overshadow her with anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit that she will come, oh God, and become all that you have called her to be, oh God. A Proverbs 31 woman, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, because I am submitting to you. I am confessing my sin. I am confessing my failure as a man, oh Father. Father, and I'm vulnerable and open, oh God, to your correction, your instruction, and your guidance today. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, oh God. Touch my men today, God. Anoint them, oh Father. Empower them, oh Father. Enlighten them. Open their eyes that they may see, oh Father. And oh God, we will be so careful to give you all the glory, the honor, the praise, the majesty, and dominion. This is the day the Lord has made. We stand, oh Father, and we stand on your word and we trust that heaven and earth will pass away, but your words will not pass away. Oh God, this is the Lord's doing, oh Father. And it's a good and a new thing, oh Father. And I thank you, oh God, because we can't comprehend what is the length or the width or the height or the depth of your love, oh God. What shall separate me from the love of God? Nothing, uh, Paul says. I am convinced today, oh Father, that your love, oh God, penetrates every circumstance and situation to bring deliverance, healing, and freedom in Jesus' wonderful name. Thank you for your goodness, God. Thank you for what you're doing today, oh Father. Move us from the red light of life and let us move into the green of the anointing of your Holy Spirit.
to fulfill the purpose and the destiny for which you have called us in Jesus' name to do good works. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. You're a good, good Father. That's who you are, oh, Father. And I worship you, and I worship you, and I adore you, and I exalt you, and I thank you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He is good, and his mercy endures forever. Amen and amen.